Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio. My name is Max. I'm going to give you a brief run around the new head unit. We've just fitted into this brand new Isuzu N75 7.5 tonne flatbed behind us. A rather large vehicle, so it was only sensible that we went for a head unit which can support uh, a navigation system which you can input the dimensions into because obviously you do not want to be uh, driving this down a vehicle which simply is too long for or too wide for. So in the dashboard, we've got the Kenwood DNR992 RVS system. Now this is Kenwood's top of the range, 10.1 inch screen. It's a whopping big screen, which is real nice to look at, use and see. Doesn't look too crazy in a large vehicle like this, but to be honest, we have installed them in minis, you'll, you'll, find, you'll know. Um, so this uh, head unit comes packed with all the features that you would ever need generally, minus a CD player. So starting from the top, we've got a built-in navigation uh, via Garmin. Uh, as I said, this is a motorhome uh, or lorry specific navigation where you can input in the uh, dimensions of your vehicle. Obviously you can use it for normal vehicles as well. You've got a built-in sat-nav which actually has points of interest for the campers. So this head unit is quite popular with the campers um, that we get in here, motorhomes, uh, lots of different campsites and stuff like that, points of interest, even photos on some of the information that you get on these, which is quite nice. Uh, but yeah, it gives you a bit of information, shows you where's a safe place that you could uh, park your vehicle up for the night. Probably not something that this uh, particular user is going to be doing. Um, so other features inside this head unit, you've got wireless Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay, don't have to use a cable, and that's the same for Android Auto. So wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, um, for things like connecting phone connectivity, maps, music, all the things you'd ever need while driving with your phone. Um, obviously this has got DAB radio that we've retained the factory aerial for uh, and you've got things like reverse camera input and you can put a few different cameras onto this if you decide to, which we actually have in this case. This does have a reverse camera on, on it as well. Uh, if I switch on the vehicle, I can give you a quick show of that. Right. So another thing this head unit has as well is a rotary control dial, extremely underrated in the world of stereos, uh, especially, you know, this is a brand new Isuzu, but it still doesn't have any steering wheel controls. So having that rotary control dial is a lot easier to use. You can just literally grab it, dial your volume up or down, real nice and easy. It doesn't get much more sweet and bliss than that. So we've got the stereo, obviously it turns on with ignition and off with ignition. If I put it into reverse, we get our reverse camera image. This is a long vehicle, as you can see. So there's a reverse camera mounted right on the back of the vehicle, which I'll give you a show on. So that's pretty much everything to show you inside the vehicle. Just give you a little bit of look from the side. Yeah, it looks great in this vehicle. Real nice and easy to use. You can't, you can't go wrong with this head unit. Nice large screen. Not gonna miss a turning or anything like that. Um, you can even add a fire stick to these head units. It's got a HDMI input, so if you're putting this into a motorhome and you might be driving and someone might want a bit of entertainment in the passenger seat or something like that, or maybe you're just stopping off and you want to watch a movie, you can hook your fire stick up or any or preferred device through the HDMI input of this system. So yeah, real nice and packed with loads of features. We put the USB just into the cubby there if anyone wants to charge their phone. Right, that's the system off, and I'll just give you a quick show of the reverse camera. Do, 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 do. And here we are at the back of the vehicle. Reverse camera sits just above where the registration plate will go. This vehicle is brand new, as I said, straight from my Suzu dealer, not been PDI'd yet. But this is a uh, uh, commercial camera quite common, commonly we fit onto the back of these types of vehicles. Just makes parking and reversing a lot easier. That's everything for this brief video from John Cleese. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.